Hi gang, this neat, very easy to make thing is called Franklin's Bell. It's called that because in the 1700s, Benjamin Franklin arranged it so it would ring when a thunderstorm was on the way. In fact, it would sometimes ring even if there was just a dark cloud above. Here's how you can make your own Franklin's Bell from simple things you already have. Here's some things you can use to make this. Two soda cans, empty or not empty, doesn't matter. A drinking straw, you can use a pencil as well. A pull tab from one of the soda cans. A ball of aluminum foil will do as well. Anything light and metal some thread, a pair of scissors, and some tape. First, cut a length of thread and tie it to the drinking straw. Like so. Next, you'll be hanging the tab about halfway down between the two cans. So find out where that is on the thread and tie the tab to that location. Next, put the thread in the middle of the drinking straw and tape one end of the drinking straw to one of the soda cans. And there we go. And here's how to make it work. To make it work with this small Van de Graaff generator, first take a piece of wire here and I've stripped both ends. And I've made a little curve on this end. I'll simply tape the bare end of that wire to the top of this soda can. Make sure the bare end of this wire is making good contact with the top of the can. Then arrange it so that this wire here is touching or very close to the dome of the Van de Graaff generator. Put the tab very close to both cans. And there you go. You can get some improvement by electrically connecting this dome of the Van de Graaff generator, or sometimes ground, to this can right here, as I've done with this wire. And here it is with my homemade Van de Graaff generator. Here I have a Wimshurst machine, and I've just taped a uh, piece of wire to the top of this can here. I'll connect the other end of that wire to this arm of the Windsor's machine. And I'll connect the end of this wire on the other can to the other end of the Windsor's machine. Notice what happened here. The arcs between the cans happened because a tab could not move charge between the cans fast enough built up so much that it arcs sometimes instead. Then, when the tab just happened to fly back, away from between the two cans, the charge built up so much on the cans that they attracted each other and came together. Don't have a high voltage source? You can easily make an electro forest using things from around the house. I have a plastic cutting board, a cotton face cloth, and a metal spatula with a plastic handle. It has to be metal, it has to be plastic, and when you hold it, hold it well away from the metal. Rub the um, plastic vigorously with the face cloth. That charges the plastic. Then hold the spatula down firmly so it makes a lot of surface contact with the plastic. And touch with your finger, you'll get a little shock. Then touch the spatula on the can. You can improve this further by making use of the Faraday cage or Faraday ice pail effect. Get two plastic lids, make a hole in the top of one of them, and also in the side. Get a piece of wire and strip both ends bare. Tape one end inside one of the cans. Make sure the bare end of the wire is making good contact with the inside of the can. Then push the wire through the hole you made in the top of the lid, and also through the side hole. Shape the wire so that the can stands up straight when the lid is on the table and have the remaining end of the wire sticking up in the air. It helps if you discharge the parts by touching them with your finger before starting. And as you can see, this works much better. Well, thanks for watching. Check out my YouTube channel, Rimstar.org, for more videos like this. That includes one with details on how the Franklin's Bell works, another on how to make the small homemade Van de Graaff generator you saw, and another all about charging things using the triple electric effect. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, or leave a question or comment below. See you soon!